How does objectivism accommodate the human desire for transcendence? <laughs> now, if you mean you want to transcend the world as it is, today's problems, you want to focus on an ideal future, uh, uh, the solution, etc., that's fine. We certainly accommodate that. Philosophy does that. And specifically, romantic art does that. It transcends this whole world. But more likely, you mean the human desire for another dimension. And that objectivism does not accommodate. It repudiates. There is no human desire. There's only the desire of many men who are wedded to a relic of primitive thought, of barbaric uh, primitive thought, and have never recovered and gained uh, a knowledge and an approach which is modern uh, and scientific. Uh, the, the development and continuation of religion and this belief in transcendence is the single, the only sin of mankind historically responsible for everything else that's evil. And mankind has never recovered from it. And as you see with the rise of religion today, whatever better element there was uh, since the 18th century is on its way out. So uh, the desire for transcendence is the opposite, in that sense, of anything and everything good. And if it doesn't stop, it's going to destroy Western civilization, and in not too long a time either. Uh, so... Read my book on DIM, that's my thesis. <laughs>